I did quite a bit of work with, uh, th there was a couple, uh, Stan and Jan Berenstain, and uh, they had never done animation before. And they were really very sweet people, and they were a husband-wife team. They sold millions of copies. I wasn't crazy about the drawings of the bears, and I thought they were kind of grotesque. Uh, they're, you know, the, the book buying audience didn't think so, but I thought so. And they were all covered with fur. Their feet were covered with fur. They had claws. They looked more like werewolves, I thought, <laughs> than bears. So they were hard to draw. I mean, they really were difficult, I think. You know, their proportions, and, and they were very leggy and had long arms. And, and the colors were not pleasant to me. The colors of their clothes, you know blue and red and yellows, and I remember I had to find shades of those colors that, that I could deal with, you know, that, <laughs> that kind of worked together. That was, that was hard. But, but they, were, um, they were really nice, and then working with the, the gang at, uh, at Perpetual was great, and uh, Buzz was terrific. We got a lot of wonderful people to work with. How did these long form things come to the studio? Now, these were primetime specials? I'm sure Buzz pitched like yeah. crazy because he wanted it. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake was already being done in Los Angeles. Murakami Wolf had it. Buzz got it for some reason. And the promise was he was going to start on it right away. And at that point, everybody in the studio was doing Berenstain Bears Easter, except for Vinnie Caffarelli, who did that entire opening himself. <laughs> it was totally insane. It was crazy. The MTV. MTV, <laughs> very iconic. Uh, when they came, it was called Warner Amex. But, but the Warner Amex meeting, I know that Buzz didn't want the partners to know about it because he wanted to go into that direction. So I had one week to do that. <laughs> and I sort of did that all by myself, except Ink and paint helped me make those mats. <laughs> so that was good. The, the rest of the stuff, you know, Sinexes and everything, the tissue paper was who, crazy. Who did the animation and design on the MTV? Oh, oh no. Uh, Rick Ocasek uh, at Manhattan Design, they're the ones that made the MTV logo. I was told, do anything you want to win them. It was watercolor markers on the back of cell tissue paper because it had to go through. It had to be a, a bottom and top lit thing because it had to be done. We didn't have enough time to do an optical. So that's how that happened. 